Hey guys, I'm just making a quick video here to talk about the MD5 Shaw checksum utility right here. Now, what is an MD5 Shaw checksum, checksum utility do? Well, sometimes you'll notice when you're downloading software off a website, for example, I just downloaded uh, a disk read write benchmark utility, and you can see down here at the bottom uh, when I downloaded the file. There's an MD5, a SHA-1, and a SHA-5 hash code here. See these three? So you might see this from time to time. So those are security measures that they're taking. They're giving you what, when you download, I downloaded an EXE file from this website, and what they're doing is they're giving me these security hashes to say if, if the file that you downloaded, if these MD5s and SHAs don't match, then the file was somehow tampered with. You don't have the genuine file and you probably have a file that is infected with a virus or there's, you know, or something worse, whatever, right? So that's why they give you those algorithms. If you ever see that, that's what it's for. But it's kind of a pain in the ass to check because obviously you can see how long those are. And um, if you were just trying to do it by eyeballing it, it would be pretty hard. So there's a free utility out there, and it's this MD5 Shaw and Checksum Utility 2.1. Uh, I'll link to it below. You can get it at um, CNET. You know, you can get it wherever, but you know, I'll just put the CNET link up there uh, so that I don't have to start posting links with uh, Checksum Shaws and uh, whatever. So I'm just going to show you how it works. Uh, I've downloaded the file already, uh, so I'm just going to browse to my computer, grab it, and then hit open. And so what it just did was it took that file that I downloaded and it grabbed the MD5, SHA-1, SHA-256, and SHA-512 hash codes out of it. So what I can do uh, whoops, is go back here and they don't have a SHA-512, but they have the other three for me to check. So I'm going to take the MD5, I'm going to copy it, say copy, and then download. And right in here in the, in the hash, I can just paste it and then hit verify and it says the MD5 hash is matched. So I don't have to sit there eyeballing it, trying to figure out if those codes match or not. Now, if one code matches, they're probably all gonna match, but just for the hell of it, let's go through all three. I haven't done this yet, so I don't know. It would be kind of funny if it turned out one of them didn't match, huh? But let's see, Control V, verify. That one matched. I'm sure the other one will too, but let's just do it anyway. Verify. Okay, so all three of those hash hashes matched. So the exe file that I downloaded is safe. It's the file that they intended for me to download. Um, I have never downloaded anything from that website before from um, osdn.net. So they have, you know, a version of um, Crystal Mark disk benchmarking utility that they somehow played around with. They made some edits to it. And that's fine. I mean, I'll, I'll play around with it too, see, see how it works. I haven't used it before. I'm um, about to do some benchmarking videos. So I thought I'd grab that one and I'm grabbing another one as well. Uh, and I'll compare them. So um, all I wanted to show you, if you weren't aware, uh, is that that's what these are. So if you ever download an EXE file or a zip file or anything from a website, especially one that you don't usually, or maybe you've never downloaded from before, if you see these codes, there's no reason not to check them other than laziness. And you've got a free utility right here that allows you to check them super easily. So uh, again, it's just a little security tip. If you want to try to keep yourself a little safer on the web, uh, this is a way to do it. And um, it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with stuff like this. That's it. Um, like, subscribe, ring that bell.